Hello guys, I hope you'll be doing great um, and in the best of your health. So in the last video, we see how to create a Shopify store, how easy is the Shopify store. We went through the sections of the Shopify store, like all, overview of each section. Now the most important part, one of the most important part in a Shopify store is its theme. Because that is the whole outlook and the whole outlay of the store. Now I'm going to tell you which themes you can use, what are some popular free themes and what themes you can do or how you can add the themes. Now the most important theme and the free theme, one of the free themes and it has been added by Shopify by default Dawn is a very nice theme. They have been updating it almost regularly basis. These are some free themes like they have about 80 free themes and then paid themes. So rather than investing so much money in your theme, I would definitely recommend you to go with the basic themes like Dawn, Refresh, Pop, Sense, Right. They all have their own features they all have their own schemes and they all have their own functionalities depending upon like some are designed for single product store some are designed for multiple product store so depending upon what you really need actually do you need a multiple product store do you need a single product store and what else do you need some are specifically designed for each niches so for example this is dawn you can try this for free you can see a demo store out of it you can see what are some usps of this thing you can see how it is optimized for speed and customizability and what are some important Themes. Like for example, this theme is great for quick setup, very usual storytelling, and card and card notes, quick buy, what are some important features. Now let's go towards this one, theme store, and let's see how many other themes they have, what are some differences between the paid themes and the uh, free themes. So you see that the themes are ranging from $330 to $40, depending upon what are some key factors. Like for example, you can search with respect to the most relevant, most recent, and popularity. Let's see what are the most popular themes right now. So you can see the most popular theme is Dawn, Refresh, Crop, <coughs> Sense, Ride, Taste. These are all free, Studio, Origin, Fave, and then Publisher, Color Blog, Impulse, is 350 USD. That is a pretty nice theme, very famous. And if you want to try it, let's see. Prestige, that is also nice, Symmetry, Motion. Let's see if we go with Impulse, let's see how it looks like. Now if we see a demo store, Let's see how it looks like on a demo store. So this is, you can also have a visual storytelling how it looks like <coughs> on a demo store. So this is, this store is basically made on Impulse. All the features that have been used on this theme are basically made by Impulse or are in the Impulse already. So here you see countdown timer, amazing, uh, black background images, an image here, best sellers, very nice. Uh -huh. Then still delirials. Mm -hmm. Our blog, you can see the store is pretty nice actually. It has a very nice footer menu as well. Let's see some others, like for example, model. This one was a bit bold. Let's go towards model and see how it looks like here. In the modern one, you can see this one, for example, a fashion recording, I believe. It has a pop up as well, pretty nice. And stop by category tops, chain expresses, sweatshirts, fall accessories up to 25% of popular picks. You see that if you want to build a fashion brand, this is a very nice thing you can use actually. Shop the look from the journal, local pickup time available. Okay, now let's see the clean one and see which other variances this thing has. So this is basically again, I believe, regarding appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is again about appearance, winter clothing, stuff like this, beard oil, t-shirts, shop the look. Wow, you may have seen this feature over Instagram and other Facebook groups. Pretty nice t shirts, jackets, sweatshirts. So, this is basically as you can see, this is a multi product store. Uh, some things are designed for single product store, some things are designed for multiple product store. This one is a multiple product store. In this section, you can explore a lot of things. As we have seen, there are a lot of things in this section. Let's go back to Farm Impulse. So you can also filter with respect to industry, arts and craft, baby kids, books, music, videos, clothing. Let's just say if we want to go with uh, toys and games, let's see. Toys and games. Let's see if we have one to nine products which are good for us. One to nine. Features, age verifier, back to top button. What features are a must have for us? For example, countdown timer, if we add that. Uh, so here we are left with only two things, split and effortless. Now let's suppose if we remove this feature from here and let's see how many teams do we have now foodie origin split 
you see these are all colorful themes critically specifically designed for north beyond maker forge craft craft is a free theme as well specifically designed for this industry so the reason why they have chosen this one because these themes are doing great in this industry because shopify asks you your industry which industry you are in to compare your conversion rates and collect the data entity now you can also select the products as 10 to 19 199 products and 200 plus words depending on what do you need this theme store is a solution to all your uh, themes i would definitely recommend you to go with the tone theme it is pretty nice let's have a look at the demo store so you would actually have an idea of how it looks like it's not out of free theme but it is it is definitely definitely competing the paid themes as well so as you can see the store is pretty nice minimalistic simple uh, one may see this is a fashion brand i believe yes and very nice images, very nice videos, of a video cut here as well, some text and some footer. So I would definitely recommend you to go with the Dawn theme. That is it. That is the most important theme you require to get started. And later onwards, when you have money, when you have revenue, you can always change and shift off your theme. But again, it depends upon you. If you want to go with the paid theme in the beginning, you can go with the paid theme. But I would definitely recommend you to go with the Shopify theme because of the Shopify support, because of the easiness, because of the... Uh, compatibility because of the speed and a lot of other reasons as well so i hope so in today's video you learned about how to select a theme how to find the themes which themes are best for the shopify stores and how to get started with the themes so once again guys thank you so much for having me do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and if there are any feedback about this video or any other videos do let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to answer or resolve or improve myself actually in this one thank you so much bye